Hello everyone, welcome to my first product review. The video I did before this one was an a cappella video of the song Criminal on the Cross, which you can view by clicking on the card up here in the corner. For that song, I mentioned in the description that I was testing out a piece of gear sent to me by a company, and someone commented, whatever gear you are testing out must be top notch, because the sound quality really pops with great distinction and depth. Well. Here's the piece of gear I was testing. I was approached by someone from Fafine Technology, I hope I'm saying that right, who asked if I'd like to do a review of this microphone, and I said sure, and that I'd like to record a song with it first, to get some experience with it, and then do a review. So this is the K6 microphone. As the description on Amazon says, it's a cardioid dynamic wired microphone, which to break that down, cardioid refers to the polar pattern that this microphone uses to pick up sound. You can find more information about polar patterns by looking in the description or just doing a Google search and reading up for yourself. Dynamic, without getting into a deeper answer than I could possibly give, generally means it's meant more for live applications, it's rugged, and good for loud instruments like drums. Again, you can look in the description for a link to dynamic versus condenser microphones, or do a Google search to learn all you want. And wired because it's wired, as opposed to wireless. So here's what you get with the microphone. It comes in a simple plain cardboard box. You open it up, and you can see that the microphone looks like it's protected fairly well by the styrofoam. You've got a user's guide, a little thank you information card, a 14.8 foot XLR to quarter inch cable, and the microphone itself, which has an on off switch on it as well. And all of this, when you go to Amazon.ca's website, comes to a whopping $26.99, or on Amazon.com, it's $17.99. Yep, that's right. This microphone that I used for the Criminal on the Cross video is just $27. Now, when you hear that, I hope all of you watching aren't thinking, $27? Wow, I'll just go out and buy that microphone, and I'm set to start recording songs. Oh! Obviously, there's more to recording music than just the microphone. The reality with this microphone is that it's not much use all by itself. It's just the microphone. If you're going to try recording onto a computer with it, you'll need some kind of audio interface, a computer, the software to record and edit with, and also the ability to know how to use all of those parts. This video, though, isn't about all of those other parts in the equation. It's just a simple review of this microphone. And I think, to put it simply, it's pretty amazing what you get for $27. Because even though my whole recording setup, both hardware and software, may be a few thousand dollars, without a microphone, I can't capture my voice. And since that's kind of a big part to recording the music that I do, that's pretty important. So pretty cool to get such a result from such an inexpensive microphone. Now, even though I used this to record in my little home studio, I would have to say that it probably is best in a live setting, such as for churches, auditoriums, anywhere where you'll be performing or speaking in front of a live audience. Mainly because, as good as I was able to make this microphone sound, my biggest complaint I would say is that it's a pretty noisy microphone. What do I mean by that? Well, all microphones have what's called a self-noise or equivalent noise level, and that basically just means that a microphone has a noise, even when no sound source is present. The lower the self-noise, the quieter the microphone will sound. For reference, I have a couple other microphones, a Rode NT1 and a Neumann TLM-103. Both of these have some of the lowest self-noise levels of any microphones that I've looked up. The TLM-103 is 7 dBA, and the NT1 is, I believe, 5 dBA. I don't know what the self-noise of this K6 is, but I'm just guessing that it's a pretty high number. What does that translate to? Well, why don't I just demonstrate for you? I set up all three of the microphones with what I thought was a fair test, where I had a sound source, which was a tone played from my phone, playing about one foot from the microphone, and I then adjusted all three microphones to get the input gain at about the same level. I then simply recorded the sound of the 
silence, and cranked up all three sources a bit more for you to hear each one. And here are all three silences played back for you. As you can hear, the self-noise really just comes out as the hiss. And if the microphone doesn't have a low self-noise rating, well, it probably will be a noisy microphone. And that can really impact your recordings, especially if you try to record soft vocals or quiet instrumental playing. Not to say that means it's an unusable microphone, as in a live situation, you may be in a noisy environment anyway. And... Does it matter how much hiss is coming from the microphone? Not to mention, if you're using an old mixer or amplifier that's pretty noisy to begin with, a little more noise from the microphone probably won't make that much difference. So it's not going to replace the microphones I already use, but for $27, I have to say it worked pretty good. Simple, cheap microphone that may not be the best for studio recordings, but for live applications, it's pretty good bang for the buck. And that's it. I hope that was helpful. I know this wasn't an incredibly exhaustive review, nor is it the only one out there. You can find plenty of others who have reviewed this product and, quite frankly, done a better job than I. But I told the person from the company that I'd review the unit, and now I have. I also know that this type of video is different than what I normally post. If you enjoyed this video or would like to see more like it, please give a like or comment below. I wouldn't mind doing more videos like this and also perhaps showing more of the equipment I use for recording and how to's with the whole process. It's tough sometimes because I'm trying to keep up with recording music and these kinds of videos take time to do as well, which means they take away time from making the music. But we'll see how things go. If I do any more of these types of videos, or any more song videos for that matter, and you'd like to be notified of any new content, make sure you click the subscribe button and also the bell icon. Thank you for watching. Till next time, bye bye Rugged.